Wait, wait, and so what were you guys talking about Fight Club? Because I love that movie too. And it reminded me because you said that you're a critic and I wanted to like get your take on movies. Dude, fuck yeah, I appreciate you, I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. um, Fight Club, I watched it for the, okay, so I've been on some like bullshit lately. I've been trying to watch a fuck ton of movies that get talked about in just everyday life type shit. Fight Club, debatedly like one of the best movies that I just named out of all the, dude, Fight Club was so fucking good for so many reasons. They like, they like, the thing that I liked about Fight Club, the flow of the movie was crazy, stupid. Like there wasn't like, it was so, it would just kind of like take you in and you would just, you would just get comfortable enough, just get comfortable enough to like go, okay, like I kind of see what's happening in the movie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna relax for a second. And then right when you would kind of like lay back in your seat and like chill for a second, Brad Pitt would yeah. take you, he would just give you another spin and then you're like, oh fuck, like I'm like perked up again. What What's happening in the movie now? Like this character just got introduced. Like the flow of the movie was like untouchable. Like it, it was honestly like perfect flow. Um, acting, yeah, like, act, like acting was good. Like sure, for whatever. Sure. That, then that's not even like a main thing that I'm like looking for really, but like acting was really good. Um, they like touch based on uh, on like honestly like a mental health condition, the whole like multi personality disorder. Like I really liked how that was like th the main point of the movie, but you don't you don't you find that out yeah. until the end. Like so it was sick. honestly pretty dope. So like, dope. I, I really like that. And then just the the plot line because they're like the plot line i i love a good plot twist and that movie has a good plot twist that movie has a really good plot twist and then there's also like i don't like a crazy romantic love story but that movie had just enough of like a little romance where you're kind of like rooting for the guy to like keep you know talking to this girl and like i don't know it, it, it was just kind of like a cool depiction of like that piece of society that like that was kind of depicting like average based people like fucking fuck the nine to five like i want to start something new i want to do this i want to do that like it was it was good dude i really fuck i fucked with fight club for so many reasons. and and also like fuck consumerism because that was like brad pitt's character's whole thing was because yeah. remember um and you don't know the uh, so there's the Tyler his Durden name, right? there's the, yeah, yeah you don't yeah, know his yeah, name yeah. so um, we like I, in all the stuff that I've read about it they call him the narrator but in the beginning like the narrator's got all that stuff from Ikea or no not Ikea maybe it's Ikea I think it's Ikea yeah, yeah. I think it's Ikea in his in his apartment yeah. and it's just like he's got everything he needs um, and, and then another analysis that I saw was like in, in so many scenes they will have like a Starbucks cup and it just talks about like how, and then Tyler Durden, Brad Pitt, is all about like, you know, you don't need all like, you don't need to buy all this shit to like, fill some void. And so it was, I also like that part of it where it's like, fuck consumerism, like, do you really need that? And honestly, I've taken that into like, my everyday life a little bit. But you named like, you hit all the key points I felt like for for that movie. And like the plot twist is so crazy. Cause the first time I watched it, not see it coming. Yeah. I had yeah, no idea. Yeah. And then he's like walking into all the bars and they're like, it, oh, yeah, no, you started this. Like, <laughs> yeah, like they all recognize him. And he's like, oh, I don't know you. It was just, it was such like a, it was just such like a random like average person like winning, yep. which I I fuck with. Like it wasn't yeah. some like rich dude. It wasn't like a mob boss. It mm -hmm. wasn't like some like gangster using force. Like it was just some like average dude working in an office job that literally like split away from reality and was like, dude, like, like I'm gonna I'm gonna portray this alter ego of like the whole fuck consumerism thing, like. Like, in, in the beginning of the movie, I think he's going through, like, a magazine catalog and, like, buying more stuff for his house yep. that he ends up blowing up. And then the Brad Pitt character, he's like, dude, you can be happy as fuck living in this, like, abandoned, like, three-story, like, shithole, bro. Yeah. 
and there and he was more he he felt more alive and happy than he's ever felt in his time. I mean, yeah, it's a yeah, great nothing, movie. Yeah. It's a great fucking movie. Yeah, dude. dude 